there's a hot topic in dentistry and it's called Cambro. And everybody gets confused what exactly that is when you're trying to implement it within a practice. Cambra is carries management by risk assessment. And so what does, what does that mean? What does that mean for the team and what does that mean for the practice? Well, one of the things that I would like to suggest is that you look at uh, different products that you can bring within your practice to start changing the way that the practice is taking care of your patients. Stop the drill and fill effect and make that paradigm shift and start looking at prevention. When you look at prevention, you're going to grow your practice in many ways. And there's so many times when we don't have the idea that if we stop drilling and filling that all of a sudden the practice is going to dry up and everything is going to go away. We need to have that abundance mentality. The abundance mentality means that if you can actually treat caries, get them all healthy and then stop them from getting any more, you're going to have so many um, happy patients that they're going to tell so many other people about you. Stop the concept and the idea of, of thinking that, well, if I show them how to get healthy and keep them healthy, that nobody's going to need any dentistry. There are millions of people out there with horrible oral care and they're in need of your help. And if we can get our patients healthy and get a plan for getting them healthy, it is going to grow your practice in big ways. One of the ways that you can do that is establishing products that you can bring into the office. Not only establishing products that you can bring into the office, but implementing a plan. Hygienists are amazing, extraordinary auxiliary on your team. They're not only producers that are going to help with prevention of patients, but they have great concepts and ideas and abilities to be able to implement those products within your practice. And sending those patients home and following up with those patients is really another key to the success. Patients won't have long-term success unless we talk to them about it continually. A lot of times patients need to hear something five or six times before they actually really take um, what we're talking about seriously.